morning ladies and gentlemen we're going to review a set of darts today and in today's review we're going to be reviewing a set of the shot ai mimic as you can see this is just the empty box very colorful very 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 vibrant what i will say about shot darts is their packaging is always top tier it is always on point in terms of design the darts we're going to be reviewing today are these the shot ai mimic with the carbon koi stems and the number six multicolored flights supplied with a standard silver point and as you can see it's a front weighted profile but we will get into that when we get to the close-up section so the grip level for me is a very very adequate three and a half but i'll explain that as we go on to the front section but without further ado folks let's crack on with the review and here we go folks as you can see we've got a nice close-up look to the shot ai mimic and 23 gram they're also available in 24 25 and 26 gram steel tip they are 90 percent tungsten now as you can see the level of grip well what well, looks like a decent level of grip overall i'd say is an adequate level three grip when it's got one to five front loaded dart as you can tell with the big bulbous back section then with a big rear scallop at the back which is going to be excellent for providing the best kind of grip consistent grip style as possible they come supplied with a standard silver point which is easily changed if that is not your style and as you can see we've got a lot going on with the grip we have some fancy lateral cuts pretty much throughout the entirety of the dart with some ringed cuts as well we've got the short koi carbon shaft an intermediate length and the number six ai mimic flight very rainbow ish looking flight very nice looking into the eye, very pleasing. Now, in terms of everything else, as you can see, we've got a bit of taper at the rear, which will provide a great thrust point. And those lateral cuts do add an element of grip to this dart, and I'd say overall, as I say, the grip level is a level three. So let's quickly grab these, the dimensions. Now, the length from here, the point meets the barrel, to here where that end of that taper is, is 45 millimeters so this is a 23 gram dimension so 45 millimeters long and the width at the maximum point is around about this section is 7.7 .7 millimeters before it tapers into that scallop now like i said about that scallop it is very comfortable for the hand and the grip now as you can see it just rests in there nicely now i'm gripping right at the back so i've got that thrust point or the push point right at the back as a reference point for every time every single time the grip on this is very much continuous so it's going to suit anybody who likes a front load that but the retail price for these is 89.95 you can get them from all good darts retailers i'll leave some links in the description for you to have a look at but as you can see truly stunning looking dart but without further ado folks i've gave you all the necessary information let's take them over to the board and we'll see how i got on with them right ladies and gentlemen I've got the shot AI mimic here, ready to go. Now that taper at the back is going to be, provide an excellent reference point for grip and a great place to thrust from. So let's just see how I got on with uh, We slip at the end there, but 93 to start us off, I'll take it. Now, as I say, with that wee taper at the rear, I'm getting an excellent push point. But I'm going to try and change, I've changed my grip slightly here. So I'm in the middle of this, the kind of scallop area. So further down to the middle of the dart, so to speak. And that scallop is very, very comfortable. The only thing is it is a wee bit temperamental, getting used to it. I mean, I find that my fingers are hitting the front on the way out of the release. So let's try down the 19s with at the scallop section. There we go. Right, up to the 18s. Thank you. 
The grip's definitely level three and a half. It does feel really comfortable in the hand. I think it's just the shape that takes getting used to the fact that the scallop's there and the front weighted. Especially if you're like myself and you primarily like a straight barrel that. But what we'll try and do now, folks, is we'll have one more go at the 20s, but I'm going to use the front grip just to see if it makes any difference. Oh. Now what you need to remember is I'm not a front gripper by any stretch of the imagination, so that just felt alien. But we're going to try and get free into the bullseye, and then we'll go get wrapped up. We have a blocker. We have a bullseye. And we have a mile away. But I'll take the one in the bull, so... Seven and three, and as you can see with the awkward angle one at the bull, we have a bullseye. With that, let's go and get a wrap up. And there we have it, folks. That was my review of the Shot AI Mimic. And 23 gram, they're also available in other weights, as you've seen in the close up section. You'll also see them here. But for the price of these, with the level of machining in them, and obviously the fact that they came from New Zealand, they're manufactured in New Zealand, we also need to put in the obviously the cost of them being shipped here as well as any customs charges etc on behalf of the company so the retail prices are obviously going to be slightly higher but for a front weighted dart and if you're liking the black and kind of natural style like so black and natural tungsten that is could be well up your street and as you can see very beautiful dart but let me know your thoughts of the short ai mimic in the comment section obviously they've done a hell of a lot more in the new short range out of them all these are probably my second favorite with the replicant being my first favorite of the new range as i say let me know what you think of these in the comment section also let me know your thoughts on shot darts as a brand a lot of people love them a lot of people dislike them down to the prices at the end of the day it's everyone's personal opinion for me shot are always up there with the very extravagant barrels the out of the box designs and of course the boxes themselves are always masterpieces as um, a comic darts used to say, shot manufacture, pieces of art that we get to throw at the board. But let me know your thoughts on the shot AI mimic. Don't forget to leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel if you are brand new, and of course leave a comment. It really helps YouTube pick the videos up on the algorithm. But thanks everybody for watching. Stay safe out there. And of course, keep on that. Mm -hmm.